we've internalized so many terrible narratives about our own home here. And, um, and I think that it's so powerful to really make sure that we're not being ahistorical, right? That we're being, that we're really acknowledging both the pain and the power exactly of the, of the legacy that we are, you know, kind of blessed to live in here and to have a different outlook exactly um, without trying to erase, right. The problems and the, right. right. Because, you know, um, I, I, sometimes the, the language, um, is hard to listen to, mm-hmm. but it's, 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 it's the truth as, as I see that it happened. Um, and, and I typically use, um, the words of the day, newspaper articles and that kind of thing in order to tell these stories. So it's mm. not them saying that it's, it's the people who are saying it, whether it's, you know, whether it's accurate or not, it's, 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 it's still a reflection of the time of what the people heard. Similar, right. similar to, to social media and what we have, you know, what we, what happens to us today, we do have to parse out, you know, and, and, and strengthen what's, you know, what's, what's accurate and what's not. But but the history of Staten Island's African American past is really powerful. It's really powerful. We, uh, you know, they've struggled through so many difficulties, but still are here persevering and 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 doing well and achieving. And so, while it may be a long road, it's 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 a very powerful, um, empowering road. 